All right, boys, while I'm on the road here and can't do actual content, uh, normal video content, I want to talk about excessively super physiologic levels of test and really how, if you're thinking about going to 3,000, 3,500, 3,700, 4,000 plus nanograms per deciliter, the one thing you really have to make sure is in order is your health. Like, you must be healthy for that. You must be healthy. I remember I couldn't tolerate uh, 200 milligrams cypionate a week if I was injecting like a lot at a time, say 100 and 100 or 200 at once. I get fucking every side effect you can think of, <laughs> you know, that we all get on TRT or that we can get. I got them all. Granted, that was cypionate. I do much better on fast acting esters and, and have no side effects like at very high doses. But at the same time, I wasn't as healthy back then. Like I can tolerate 200 milligrams at once of sip right now, no problem. I've had to do it a couple times for traveling. Fine. But I couldn't tolerate it back then. I was unhealthier. I was not as healthy as I am right now. You know, I was cleaning up my diet. I, I was still drinking when I first ran uh, sipping at 200. This is years back. I My diet was okay, but it, it wasn't as bulletproof as it is now. I wasn't doing cardio. I was lifting weights, but I wasn't doing cardio huge fucking difference man now that i've cleaned up all that stuff over the years and i didn't even really gradually move up from uh, 150 180 whatever trt doses to sitting at 4,000 nanograms per deciliter i did it really really quickly i ran 150 a minute every other day uh had some side effect i got test flu had to back off ran about 400 milligrams a week of prop was totally fine moved back up with prop was totally fine and then circled back around to running 500 a week of nfa totally fine but i fucking never would have been able to tolerate this had i not started running two miles every day of my life you know had i not cleaned up my diet over the last three years to eat exclusively almost exclusively real foods you know almost exclusively a big majority of my diet is just real food had I not done these things, and regarding hematocrit, I mean, the, the shorter acting esters are going to be much, much more forgiving on that. If you don't let your estradiol go above 80, call it, you know, your hematocrit is going to be at least easier to control because that influences it very fucking heavily. People don't know that, but that's in the literature as well. And had I not done these things, man, I just, I wouldn't be able to tolerate it. But here I am, three and a half months, going on four months. I mean, I'm, I'm triple, triple the top of the range, dude. Feeling fucking phenomenal. So if I can leave you with anything, it's that if you want to explore what it's like to have these levels of testosterone, you know, above 1,200, 1,500, above that, those, TR, those high TRT numbers, 2,700, 3,500, 4,000, 5,000 nanograms per deciliter of total test, 600 to 900 picograms per milliliter of free test. You must get your health in order. You must get your health in order. Because on these levels of testosterone, my blood pressure doesn't budge. I'm 110 over 70, running a little bit of Tadalafil. Not a lot. My hematocrit, 46.9 on last check. Perfect. You know, symptoms. Man, I sleep great. The sex is better. If I'm managing... A little bit of estrogen, so it's a tad bit of aromasin once a week. Nothing, nothing major. You know, I'm also running a little bit of exogenous DHT, so that obviously helps. But yeah, I have no side effects, dude. Whereas a mere hundred milligrams at once back in the day would send me into fucking side effect to hell. I'd just be all the side effects you can think of: <laughs> head pressure and fucking insomnia. I remember, like go into this meeting at these group of local people that I really like here in Pittsburgh and I would go to this meeting and hang out with these people and I was like everybody gets a, a chance to speak and I would get up and speak and I was nervous as hell this one time because I dosed so much tests and like fucked up my neurotransmitters and I was like just nervous <laughs> and had anxiety actual anxiety dude now you, 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 you I mean I, I don't think there's a test number that could give me anxiety it just makes me cool, smooth, calm, and stoic as fuck without any problems, period. So there is a way 
okay, to get your body to be able to tolerate high levels of tests. And if you want to explore what that's like, is for a lot of people, it's going to give them better symptom resolution than TRT. And for a lot of people, you know, you're, you're going to do better on fast acting stuff like cream or prop because you have a trough. You get troughs. Get your health in order. Get your health in order. Does this mean you can't drink? No. Sure, drink. Don't drink a ton. Know what your limit is. Get some water in before bed. Hopefully get a little bit of extra tutka so you can fucking metabolize. Like, you give aid to the secondary metabolic pathways of alcohol which cause hangovers, right? The byproducts that are... The, the breakdown is much less efficient than your primary uh, metabolic pathway of breaking down alcohol. So, yeah, take more tutka. Right? Don't drink uh, every day, you know? Do other product, productive, constructive shit with your life. You can't be a you can't you can't go out and run every day or every other day. If you're boozing, if you're boozing a lot. Get your health in order, right? Get your health in order. Get your blood pressure in order. Get your fucking cardiac markers in order. Then run high test. If you have to titrate up, so be it. Titrate up. You know that's what it takes sometimes. Again, I had test flu. At 525 milligrams of enothate per week, I had to go back down to 420. Then used prop at around the same dose for a while and back up to 525 with anything was fine. I was fine. Can't explain that. Sometimes you just have to gradually work up your body. It may take some time to get used to it. Not everyone's going to be able to tolerate high levels of testosterone. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. You know, running 500 milligrams a week. Cycles, basically. Many, you know, half mid-cycles, mid-level cycles. You're not. If you can't, that's your indication to get your health in order. Yep. Right? And, and try some fast-acting esters. Health is the most important part, whether you're on TRT or you're trying to push for ultra-high levels of tests, so that you can explore what that feels like. You can explore what that feels like. You know? Some men with serious sexual dysfunction are only going to get resolution on, you know, what, what the haters and the Redditors call cycle level doses of test no one ever needs above 200 that is fucking bullshit i have seen it in real life that is horse shit it's a lie perpetuated by people who haven't seen enough don't know enough but are arrogant to think that they can talk about this with authority it perplexes me anyway get your health in order if you're going to tolerate high levels of test and when you do so in time, if you need to explore, having 3,000 nanograms per deciliter, you'll be able to tolerate it. All right? I'm around for consulting on this. If anyone needs me, obviously, book me live, cortex.com. More content coming soon. Live stream coming Saturday, tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern time. I'll see you guys there.